Hello, this is the new PL2Q Hugin and it has a couple of improvements over the first uh, PL1Q Vampire and uh, the first improvement is the motor mounts uh, now the speed controllers can be mounted in the motor mounts uh, it requires some soldering skills having them here in the arms they will get much better airflow and cooling and uh, you can remove the entire arm much easily uh, on mine for now I just uh, zip tie them down but I would suggest using shrink wrap like this around the arm and uh, heat it down to make them uh, more weatherproof and also the canopy is improved as you can see here I tried to reduce the the bridging it has to do by 50% so now the bridging it does is much smaller there is no longer any screw holes you just press it on and another improvement since there is no screw holes anymore now you just zip tie the legs to the body underneath very nice and simple no screwing required and I have an optional canopy that you can mount your receiver into like this on this version I focused more on uh, FPV and video recording so I have a, made a GoPro mount and have a GoPro camera in there the GoPro mount also has a servo so you can be able to tilt it and do camera stabilization in the tilt axis also I have new landing gears they are a bit uh, taller to be able to have the GoPro blow it and I also have the battery further back to compensate for the weight of the GoPro in front on my quad I use uh, Scorpion motors and uh, the Gaui speed controllers and it's the stuff that is uh, for the Gaui 330X from the beginning and the controller board I have is a multi Wii from Good Luck Buy it have a magnetometer and a barometer a pressure sensor and for the first time it's actually useful now because in the pre-version of the version 2 of the multi-wee firmware uh, altitude hold works and also magnetometer works and it should also be possible to put a GPS on it and have GPS position hold and waypoint navigation and stuff I'm working on that here yeah I'm not tried that yet and the radio I have is a Turnigy 9X with the uh, FR Sky module. Also, I have telemetry on it. And the receiver I have is a FR Sky D8R2. And for a complete list of all the parts I use in mine quadcopter, go to the Thingiverse page, there you will find a more complete list. One thing to remember if you use Scorpion motors is that uh, the screwing holes is uh, reversed compared to the cheap motors. That means to make a Scorpion motor fit the motor mount 
you have to mirror it when printing it out yeah otherwise everything is the same The 3D printer I use is an Ultimaker and uh, that's also the printer I designed the stuff to fit but I will try to slice them up soon to make them be printable on different printers uh, but if you have uh, SketchUp skills and, uh, and some time over please feel free to slice them up to be able to fit all the printer and make a derivative that would be great hope you like the quad and please subscribe to my videos I'm gonna post more quad videos and FPV videos and stuff there yeah have a nice day signing out